If you remember from the last video, one of the JW ladies we were talking with was asking about why people wanted to translate the Bible into their people's languages even under threat of persecution. This was in relation to Tyndale and their video singing his praises, even though he was clearly a historic Orthodox Christian, part of what they now consider to be Babylon the Great. That's where we'll pick up today. They tried to destroy the Bible, or you know, kill those people who translate, try to translate, right? Why do you think they, they don't want <laughs> other people? Yeah, I know. I just like lean in here. <laughs> um, Try to kill them. Yeah, so that that was. Um, I mean, there were obviously throughout, like when we look even as far back as as Bible times, that um, Christians were being killed, and they they were um, you know the documents were many of them were burned and taken you know by the pagans because they were just like and the Jews too because they were disgusted with it you know this idea of a man rising from the dead no they hated that and so they were trying to kill them that was way back then but then when you're talking about Tyndale's time then what has happened all the way throughout eventually the church at Rome grew over time and became the Roman Catholic Church which is totally like oxymoronic right like Roman and Catholic Catholic means universal Roman means one place so it's ridiculous anyway I could go on and on about Rome but um, yeah so their leaders like the idea of first of all a lot of people were already um, illiterate and they were taking advantage of that and then they the priests were taking all of the control they became well they call themselves a, a term they use for their priests they call them altar Christus which means another Christ and taking on the term father and priest and all those sorts of things were their power right so they were they were abusing it and then not letting people have access to the scripture to actually see what it says and who God is and they, they wanted to manipulate yeah people. yeah and as they gained power and they became there used to be that that unification of government and and, and the corrupt church together and so they were abusing them in all yeah. sorts of ways and which is why we had people like Tyndale and Luther and another guy before him named Jan Huss and you know Calvin and, and Melanchthon and all those you see there's a long list of the, the reformers that came in and said no more we're not going to fall for that anymore and we yeah. don't want we want to rescue believers out of this yeah. So. yeah so imagine you know that we feel like even little ones able to read the Bible, right? Yeah. Well, just normal people. Yeah. yeah. At that time, Latin is the Latin yeah. 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 And then come to the point that nobody now understands. Yeah, they came only for the, the yeah. scholarly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they refused to translate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to their language. Yeah. So, if <laughs> the Tyndale mm -hmm. um, you know, translated the entire Bible, right? He couldn't do it, but uh, and then normal people read it, and then what they found, right? And then compared to what the church is doing, mm -hmm. teaching, mm -hmm. so yeah. obviously they can find out. Yeah, done that myself. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's interesting with Luther too, right? Like when he actually came to Christ. Um, and he's, he was a scholar too, right? So he was a monk and he was reading the Bible a lot. And um, he came to under, he saw, when he looked at the original languages, when he saw the word for repentance, Rome had turned that into penance. They were using the word penance. So they can be reliant on yeah, yeah, for their works or what they do when they sin. They do works to make up for their sin. And when he saw that, no, it's repent. It's turn to Christ. And that freed him. And that's when he became an actual Christian, you know, then he, because he actually hated God before then. He would, he would say, he was a monk and he's always trying to, you know, suffer for his sins. Uh, he, and then, yeah. He couldn't understand. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, he, he was actually just, started to yeah. be like, oh, this yeah. is why. Yeah. Well, yeah, and he was just like fighting and fighting and fighting it, and he was so like down all the time and just in agony because of, I'm such a sinner. And he wasn't out doing anything like, like even his own, yeah. you know, priest he would go to to confess. And he's like, can't you bring me anything more interesting? You know, because he would confess for hours and he'd just be like, well, this is so like regular human stuff. But no, it's sin, it's sin, it's sin, right? And and, and he was so that's why he was so angry with God because he's like, well, oh, I can't ever do enough. This is so frustrating, you know. And then when he came to understand, it's just repent and trust in Christ, and Christ covers that sin. And then he was free, you know. And then it was like, 
that the, so then he that he had that um, that that passion to share the Bible in German with the Germans where he was right and so he did that he went and translated the Bible for them and yeah you know yeah. so they could read that too for real yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think a lot of people too like you, you know that they're turned away from the of their understanding of what they understand mm -hmm. like for example there's one lady that um, I was working for and and she, she, you know, she loves her, but she, she, she gets so upset about what's going on in the world, and she said, this is where I struggle, this is where I, I say, like, why, 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 mm -hmm. and, and, and you can see the reasoning there, because, because, you know, people think, well, the Almighty, you know, he, if, if he can fix this, why is he allowing these evil things to go on? Mm -hmm. But once we come to learn what the Bible's message is, we actually learn that, no, this is not coming from God. This is coming from Satan and the world that is under his control at the moment. So this is all like Bible truth helping us to learn to say, oh, okay, so this is not, like God is not just doesn't care about that. you know like a lot of people have misunderstandings of you know bible truths and so they turn away because they think like well god yeah. doesn't care anyway yeah well, that's romans one right they suppress the truth that's all what yeah. all humans do suppress yeah, the truth of god yeah. yeah yeah so this is why like the bible is such a gift we get to read it we get to say okay what is what is your your will and then we just peer into it and we learn to take in we find truth and yeah this is this this is the source mm -hmm. you know we don't need to go to you know traditions of that that's been and this is where we can you know see where the truth is sure yeah and who god is yeah so that was another tongue-biting moment for us there, as she was basically saying that people should be reading the Bible, not looking to, in that case, the Roman organization. It's incredible to hear when they speak like this, because they themselves believe that they cannot really understand the Bible without the Watchtower organization telling them how to interpret it. As you'll hear next, we had already been talking for quite a long time and it was really time to wrap things up for that day. As tempting as it was to get into what it means to trust the Bible as the sole authority of Christian faith and practice instead of an earthly fallen organization. So while we were getting ready to wrap it up for the day, they still felt the need to suggest videos and articles for us to see. And I did take the time to go through them and made lots of notes. Sadly, they never want to discuss them after and only want to focus on the study book. Then, when one of the ladies does the final prayer for the day, as you'll hear next, she uses the terms mistakes, we make mistakes without knowing, and shortcomings. So, from there, we end up getting into a bit more discussion on their insistence to use these words instead of confessing their sin. We pray that at least some part of this conversation will stay with them, both, when they think of the authority of the watchtower in their lives, and whenever they hear and use terms like the lady used in her prayer here. Well, I think it's like, I think it's noon. <laughs> I know, you just keep going, but you probably shouldn't, yeah. Did we get halfway? I think we're most of the way, yeah. Just about there, because there's just summary on the last page, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll have another meeting. We'll just go through this one page, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's nice because you, you can see how you already have such a heart for the Bible. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice, and and, and you're very yeah. well educated. Oh, thanks. So explore. I check. You know, yeah. And then this is another video. Yeah, yeah. They're all they're all in here. Yeah. Yeah. It goes a little bit more into detail. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm going to look up your, your Trinity thing. Mm. So you do not 
said oh. the brochure. Oh. oh, do you want me to look up some information about the training? Because I know that there's That's what like, I'm writing down right okay. now. <laughs> Does Cory Fresca come up? For me? Is there quite a bit of stuff that comes up or just one article? Oh, there's tons. So I oh. just go through it. I mean, like, there, oh. there's th all the same information, but there's different ways to, like, oh. there's more information. And then they, they, so I just go through. Oh, okay. Um, probably you have, like, one particular article you're thinking of or something. Well, there oh. probably is actually, uh, is there, there's, unless one comes to your mind, I haven't actually uh, done a lot of that. Yeah, Maybe. so, I, yeah, after the brochure is this one. Should you believe in the Trinity? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So no paper copy available anymore. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I, I have my personal okay. one. Text. Okay. 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 Do you want to close up with it first? Okay. okay. Sure. Sure. Our loving Heavenly Father, dear merciful Grand Creator. Uh, loving Lord Jehovah God, thank you for the another uh, last uh, hour or so. We discuss about your word Bible, and then thank you for the wonderful gift you given us for mankind. Because without your word, we are so lost, and that there's no hope for mankind. But now that you make a Bible available to almost the entire mankind so that uh, we can learn and then also the, uh, uh, learn about your uh, purpose and uh, what kind of person you are and how we should uh, worship the way you accept it and then also how we can uh, find the true peace and happiness and uh, how we can solve the, all the problems we face today. So thank you for the wonderful guidebook and uh, please uh, continue to help us to learn and uh, apply the things we learn every day to um, make your heart glad and then uh, we don't want to make uh, mistakes uh, over and over again but uh, as we um, uh, try hard to do what is right so please uh, bless our effort and then um, but without knowing we make a uh, mistake because we are imperfect Jehovah. So please forgive us our sins and mistakes, shortcomings through your loving son, uh, his uh, ransom. So uh, please um, watch over each individual as we do the rest of the day. And then um, <clears throat> the things we do uh, may bring a glory honor to your name. So we ask all those things through your loving son, Jesus. Amen. And I think to, just to recap too, like sometimes you brought up mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes we, like even like through the day, we're you know with friends and then we start talking and then and then we realize like maybe we said something and we go home and think, did I say something to you? And it's upset or mm -hmm. and, and 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 but that wasn't our motive. Like oh no, I'm not gonna say. I, yeah. No, it's just that yeah, it's just uh, for me when I look at the Word of God, it just diminishes it. It just. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for me that's something that um, I would find difficult to not bring to light what the Word of God says compared to because it just lessens the whole, because um, I sin, I don't, I don't oh, mistake, oh, for sure, oh, for I sure. never do mistakes, for I, I sure. always sin. Yeah. Well, we all do make mistakes, but, but like I mean, if like you trip mistakes. over something, that you're oh, literally yeah, walking a trip, a that's a mistake. Yeah, you know? yeah. But yeah, when we, we sin, we sin. We have that inherent in, in us, and so yeah, we fall short, but, but, but like, our motives, like our motives were genuine, but it came across like, oh, maybe I was a little bit too, you know, mm -hmm. like, maybe I shouldn't have said Think. it in that way, and like, we kind of like condemn ourselves, like, you know what I mean, like, right. we go home and we ponder over what we said, and then we feel bad mm -hmm. how we did, but it's like, that's not the way you intend it, so mm -hmm. I think <laughs> mistake is just sort of too in that sense. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't come in my vocabulary when I talk to the Lord, that's all. I talk to your whole, but it just doesn't come in my vocabulary. Yeah. That's all. So it's just, it's just um, different hearing yeah. that word because it just, yeah. it's just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. totally different, right? Willfully, purposely, you know, <laughs> kind of do something yeah. wrong or bad. Yeah, like to offend, like say, like say our motives were like, oh, I want to 
then that would not be a mistake. mistake. That would be it's willful, mistake. like, I am, like, wanting to say something, or, like, do something to cause harm. But, like, if I sometimes say something and it's like, oh, I shouldn't have said it because that could have caused them to feel hurt, but that wasn't my motive. That was just my error of how I presented it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and there, there can be mistakes in there, but I guess what I think about, yeah, with sin, like, I can say it, it's not even just, like, like what what might I do to offend someone else it's what am I doing that offends Jehovah the holy holy God right yeah. everything that mm. I do like David said, my heart yeah God that I that I've committed this sin ultimately not yeah a vertical thing is always a, a horizontal yeah. yeah so that's why we call it sin more than mistakes because there are legitimate mistakes but generally we sin all day every day that's the human fallen state right yeah. so but he wants us to emulate and reflect him too he wants right yeah the, yeah. Uh, yeah it isn't isn't us. that kind of the point though because we are sinners we can never really ju- we can try but our tr- our efforts are useless right compared to who he is i mean that, that's can, what i like we can it. keep praying to um, ask him to help us to forgive us when we, and yeah. help us to like even like i i you know personal prayers like i ask you know to, to just be more loving at, at times. Sure. It's just like, can you, can you help me to be more loving? Can you help me to show more kind? Like certain things like this because we know this is the source of the good quality and the fruitage of the spirit. Can you know? Can I pray for the fruitage of the spirit? Love, joy, peace, goodness. You know, we want to emulate and reflect Him. He wants us to emulate and reflect Him, even though. We fall short. Yeah. Say, yeah. Stop it. Like, oh, man, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or like, oh, my motives, my heart was just, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's just constantly just, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, for me, it's not, it's not, like, it's not even good striving, like striving is just something that's not obtained yet, opposed yeah. to, there, there's no striving, there's just, there's a place of uh, just wanting to please, mm-hmm. but not as striving there's yeah. the striving is like something it's motivated by, by love that's, that's right kind of so there's no desire. like yeah yeah so, um, so i think it's the same like it's like we're, we're, we're motivated by love because we love it and we want to do good right we want to do the right thing right yes and, and so it's yeah, yeah. like it's but we fall short. Yeah. Exactly. And so it's like, but we still want to. I yeah. think. But yeah. I think it's ultimately the same. Right. Yeah. Right. And we look at the the spirit empowers us. He's the one who's doing that work in our hearts, and he's not doing that in the work of unbelievers, right? Because they don't know him. So. Yeah. Um, so that that's what we depend on too, right? Because I can't do it of my apart own. Apart from God, we can't do yeah. it. Right. Right. Yeah. Great. Right? Yeah. Right. So, because apart from him, we wouldn't even have the desire to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. You're yeah. living like the world and couldn't care less. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So our dependence on him for the work, yeah. uh, yeah. for the generation of the heart, yeah. is uh, completely reliant on him to change my motives. Yeah. Yeah. We finally wrapped up this conversation and went our separate ways. In our next meeting, we will finally finish up the last little bit of Chapter 5 and start on Chapter 6. Now I'd like to share some news with you about how things are going with my health. Thank you again for all your generous support and prayers over the past couple of months. I've been able to start using some new devices, which I am seeing some benefit from. I'll share a link to a quick video I made so you can see what they look like. I also have my food sensitivity test results and have made the needed adjustments to make sure I don't have any inflammatory foods in my diet. I'm also on a very strict diet anyway, so those changes were pretty minimal overall. I will say that healthy food is increasingly expensive and very much needed to help keep me stable and hopefully see improvement in the coming months. I have started to get a bit more energy back, which is a wonderful blessing. So what I am planning now is to start a new video series for my Patreon supporters. It's called conversations with a possible PMO. These are a series of phone calls I had last year with someone who I believe may be a PMO. It wasn't evident early on, but as we got to know each other, it started appearing to me that she might be. Her beliefs and her lifestyle do suggest that she doesn't really fit with the standard requirements for loyal JWs. So, If you're interested, please consider signing up for monthly access, 
which only comes to about the cost of one coffee a month. And it will go towards helping me with my ongoing medical needs. Thank you all again and God bless.